Hey guys, so we just got the uh, Sabias via disc flashing the Aladdin in the bag. So there's one down. Um, posted that up last night on the forums and they said, you know, there were people who said, uh, well, how'd you do it? How'd you do it on a programmer? Okay, so I do have um, a T48 um, and this, what's this called now, this one? This is a P PLLC 32, I believe, but we'll see that later on. Um, this little board. So the boards, the boards are removable. So you have to make sure that you get one that actually has this particular um, board. Now they come in various different uh, packages. I think most of them will have this one because it's quite a def quite a default one, I'd say. Um, but yeah. You need to make sure you've got a PLLC 32, I think it is. Um, but as I said, we'll we'll have we'll see that on the programming screen very shortly. Um, oh, I've just had to redo all of Streamlabs. <laughs> totally ruined it. Moving it to screen two ruined it. So and I didn't realise it was because I've moved it to screen two. So I've had to reset the entire thing. Which, to be fair, I'm quite glad I set I started again because my camera was getting a bit fuzzy. So I've just done a fresh install and it looks a lot better for me. Um, hopefully you think the same. All right, so yeah, we have got the uh, T48 now. A staple of the programming industry, like a budget, the best budget one was the TL866. Uh, there was an II, I think. I think it was an II or an a one one. I'm not sure. I think it's an II. Um, and there was, I think, an A, an A, yeah, TL866A as well. Um, and this is essentially the follow the, the follow on to that now. Um, Xgeku, I think, is how you say it, which is at uh, xgeku.com forward slash en. If you're English, I'm sure there's other languages available. This is obviously the programmer in its basic form. And uh, so, if you if you uh, if you want to buy one of these, you can get them on AliExpress, and then. But you won't have the software now the software is free and if you look obviously this one has been clicked before which i will link in the description for you uh, just download that choose select the t48 or whichever version you go for there are others uh, this one is literally the best one best value for money uh, up to a certain range so being the fact it's 40 pin I think it gives like thousands more boards than the, than the TL866 used to. So, um, and they're about, I think they're about 48 quid for a good package. Now, when I say a good package, this is, uh, we'll just jump back to the main screen. This is kind of what you get. So you get this piece of foam with all these different sort of uh, boards on. So there's, so there's many different boards. You can get three times as many as I've got, but I only really wanted it for the Aladdin. So um, th there'll be a few others there, I'm sure down the line that I'll end up using, but right now that's what I was focusing on when I purchased the T48. All right, let's get back to this. So we've got that. We've got the software, we've downloaded that, which will obviously be linked in the description which is just there though if you want to come and get it yourself um, set that all up and then we're going to open up uh, the software now if you don't know which chip you're using this essentially it's very very easy actually really read the chip um, it's dead simple so you get yourself your Aladdin read read the code off it and you will see that it says SST 49 LF 020A we we have it in a PLCC I think I said PLC but PLCC 32 if you don't know what you're using you can select um, select IC in brackets S and you can select it there so there's your list but it will come up with the one that it, it recognizes um, that is the one that we've got then you will just click file load file and wherever you've placed your download of the file is where you're going to go back to and get it so in this package we have uh, a serbius hybrid version 2.3.1 beta we're going to just there are there are three there there's the beta.bin 
UDMA5 and UDMA4. I'm just going to pick the UDMA4 and we're going to load that in. So as you can see, all this here now has changed. Um, and then we're going to... The one thing I noticed yesterday, I have had this five months, this flasher, and I used it for the first time yesterday. I wasn't even sure what I was doing because I've not used a flasher in 20 years. Uh, but I did notice that you have to click, like uncheck the check ID uh, once that's done everything provided now when you do take the chips by the way out of the Aladdins you will need um, a puller so I'll just come back to the main scene you need a puller this comes with the package I bought off um, Aliexpress so it'll go into the two corners you'll see where they are and, and you, you literally pull the chip out they're a bit flimsy I'm not going to say that the best but they do work um, and the same when you're taking it out of the program it's the same thing you've got to pull pull it out of that as well whilst holding the PLCC32 in place or you can remove that and then separate the two up to you but yes so when you what I did notice yesterday is that when I took one out of an Aladdin I had four pins that weren't making contact so I had to get a, a cotton swab you know cotton earbud um, with some uh, IPA on it and just like go around all the pins give them a clean up so you may need to do that so if your pins aren't making contact it's a cleaning exercise essentially is what I'm saying all right so we're back on here and then uh, <clears throat> we're just essentially going to flash this now so uh, we're going to <clears throat> program everything looks okay and then we're gonna just gonna check adapter and position view adapter well, looks good to me is it is it is it in right see i'm still learning on this one if i'm honest chips in legs are in no, we have a problem. Oh, we have got four pins that are not making contact there, as you can see on screen. The red, the little red ones. We're gonna just unplug that, and we're gonna just uh, reseat. I hope that they've gone in right this time. It is quite, uh, it's quite crude, really. The uh, slots on these. I'm not gonna lie, they are quite crude. Knock that back down. These are the teething issues you get when you've not got a clue, like me. Yes, I am winging this. Um, and let's try that again. No, still got four pins that aren't making contact for some reason. Well, if it was going to go wrong, it's going to do it on the vid, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> we'll pretend it's a NES. Try and get it in in a balanced manner and give it another shot. Right, that's not having it. So we click back and then we're going to click uh, this again and we'll try running through it. Maybe you've got to go back a bit. No. Right, I want to work on this. Well, what can you say? It's going to happen. It's going to happen on cam. Uh, it did it yesterday once, but it, I've not had it do it three times like this. So I will get to the bottom of this and then we'll crack on with a vid. Alrighty. I have just run uh, a cotton swab over the uh, the pins where they go in, where the uh, PLCC32 go into the programmer. Um, I'm going to see if that's made any difference. I'm hoping so. Let's try this again. No. Okay, so I'd already cleaned up the pins um, where the little board goes into the adapter. I've just taken the chip out because I don't think this one did get a clean. I, I wasn't too sure if it was the same one I cleaned yesterday, but clearly uh, you are messing with it with your fingers and they probably are oxidizing. Um, sat around in a warehouse so let's try this again see if we've got any good contact this time 
Aha, there we go. It was the chip again. That's two where it was the chip. Um, when you're looking at the diagram, though, it, it makes it look like it's actually the, the connections between the board that the chip sits in, the PLL, PLCC32, and the actual unit. But um, clearly, one leads to the other. So, uh, yeah, so there we go. It is programming verifying and you get a little beep in your earphone telling you that it succeeded and that is it so it wasn't as straightforward as it could have been um but yeah we have programmed that that now just bear in mind that when you are doing these there is a little cut out um, on one side of the chip and there is also the same thing on this and on this board as well so um, make sure you get the orientation right it won't probably won't go in and then, um, obviously, you need to get these right behind it. You have to use a little bit of force for this. And I'm holding the board at the same time. And then that's how the chip comes out. So, it will hold it. You've got to use Kung Fu Grip for doing this. And then, make sure your orientation's right. Which, that is. They are fiddly little buggers, I'm not going to lie. Um... You try and go in crossed all the time. I, I drop them, <laughs> I drop them all over the place. These, but um, I suppose it's just because I'm getting used to it. Um, down the line, I imagine we'll be, become old soldiers at it. But this is very new to me. So there we go. That is back inside. Got it back in. Um, so we'll whack this in and we'll make sure that it works all right. Alrighty, let's boot up the Xbox and make sure that this has flashed successfully. And there we go, yeah. And it's quite easy, but I'd say it's just more fiddly than doing it actually in the Xbox. So oh, there we go. That is it. That is basically it. Um, so, which way will you do it? Would you do it in the Xbox? Would you do it in a pro in a programmer? I think I think these are more fiddly. But I think once you get used to it, if you had a, if you had a bulk amount, you're gonna want to do it in this because this takes forever to load up. You know, compared to just switching if you if you had them all out all 20 of them like say you had 20 aladdins and you wanted to do program all chips it's going to be quicker in this but if you're doing a one-off i think i'd use the xbox i did about three in the xbox yesterday and it was no bother at all anyway that is your other route i'm pretty sure there's there is a third you probably could ftp it um i'm not too sure which files you would need i'm presuming you'd have to use the disc uh so the, like the iso maybe and then copy it across from on FTP that way I'm not too sure about that one I'll have to ask a couple of the guys uh, but yeah anyway there's two ways for you to flash Sibios to an Aladdin uh, and I hope it proved useful cheers guys I'll see you later bye bye